Sounds like she has a plan. Absolutely. Plan's always good, especially going into day two with a lead. And not just a small lead of a few tens, but that's a pretty big lead going into day two. What's your headline of the day? Is it Simone or is it something else? No, it's definitely Simone. And I think that she did herself a big solid today with, without any question. You know, everybody knew that if she went out on the floor and she did what she's capable, she's the best gymnast right now. Her, her difficulty is just so much higher than everybody else, but she has been very shaky. Marta Caroli told me that she's not as prepared, and when she's not as prepared, she doesn't act as consistently as she needs to, but boy, she sure did it today. Hey, it's an anniversary. You know what it is? <laughs> yes, I do. Five years ago today, on the day she went into the Gymnastics Hall of Fame, Nastia Lukin wowed the world with her gold medal that I'm sure changed her life. Do you remember this crystal clear? Is it all Absolutely. a little fuzzy? Absolutely. No, I remember it like it was just yesterday. It's a little crazy. It was five years ago. <laughs> and what are you thinking here? Um, OMG? It was, very, <laughs> it was very surreal at the time. You know, it took, it took a lot of time to set in. And I think it was one of those moments that you definitely remember for the rest of your life. But at that very moment, you just think about the obstacles, the injuries, the, the negativity, everything that you had to overcome to get to that moment, to see your flag being raised. The relationship was fascinating to watch between you and your dad, as he was sometimes trying to be a dad and <laughs> trying to be a coach. I don't know how he did it, especially now that I'm getting older. <laughs> I don't know how he did it, but he did a great job of, you know, separating that. In the gym, he was not my dad. He was just my coach. As soon as we walked in into the doors at home, he was my dad. Great memories for those who watched it, those who did it. We'll be back with you tomorrow, beginning at 8 Eastern time, time on NBCSN, as the men's competition begins. Again, 8 Eastern time. Then the women's competition wraps up. Saturday, prime time, NBC, beginning at 8 Eastern time. And then the men's competition wraps up on Sunday afternoon, beginning at 1.30 Eastern time. Another warm reception by the people of Hartford, Connecticut. And once again, we'll be back here tomorrow night at 8 as Danell Leva and John Orozco and the rest of the American men begin their quest to represent Team USA in the World Championships and win a U.S. Championship. With Tim Daggett, Nastia Lucan, and Andrea Joyce, I'm Al Trout with good night from Hartford, Connecticut. Hope you have enjoyed tonight's edition of the P&G Gymnastics Championships presented by Venus and Gillette.